Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel Beyond the Moon. I'm doing a peek at your person love tarot reading. Happy New Year. Let's see what 2022 has in store for you. <laughs> All right, so Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit. Okay, it is a general reading. Um, also, Pisces, stick around till the end. I have a fun, exciting announcement to make. So stay tuned. All right. Um, Pisces, I was meditating on your energy and I actually was feeling very like um, energized and like go getter and very positive. I feel like you guys are finally like out of this rut that you've been in and starting to feel like more confident, happier, vibrating higher, you know, really trying to manifest. Um, I'll get into your overall energy. It kind of makes sense. Um and I was also hearing that song, um, Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. So look up the lyrics for that if you don't know it. Um, but it's like, don't worry about a thing. Every little thing's going to be all right, Pisces. <laughs> all right. So let's get into your reading. So your overall energy, Pisces, starting off with truth be told, peace and milk and honey. So that's why I was kind of laughing because peace and the milk and honey here. So you may have either realized the truth or just kind of came to terms with something or the truth about something, the reality of a situation, um, or someone told you, confessed something to you. All right. So I feel like whatever it is, I feel like it either you're just at that point where you're okay with it, you're at peace with it. All right. And I feel like you have a new beginning happening for you. There's an egg in this picture and then milk and honey. I mean, that's like the sweetness of all sweetness, you know, getting what you want, being happy with it, being um, grateful for where you are, <clears throat> grateful for everything you have, you know, just really in a like nonchalant, mellow type mood, but in a very law of attraction, high vibration type of way. Uh, your person has loyal heart in between worlds. So yeah, there could have been something of question with their loyalty. Um, they could have been confused or stuck between worlds. However you want to take that. Could have been another relationship, another connection, or just wishy-washy type energy, all right? Um, and then we also have underlying energy mending. So there could be a chance, you guys, that this could come back together and be mended, okay? All right, let's get into it. Your person's current energies, current energies for Pisces person. Um, also keep in mind, Pisces, when I say your person's energy, it could be yours. So it could be flip-flopped, reversed, whatever. Um, place it where you see fit. But again, don't force anything. So your person's starting off with Scorpionic Energy Death Card. They are really looking for some kind of transformation here, some kind of change um, in a very stable way. I feel like they want a new beginning in stability here. I feel like your person does want to mend this. Let's see what you're thinking. Let me continue into their current energies, and then we'll get into the rest of your reading. Oh, wow. Ace of Cups and... Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, your person definitely wants to mend this. Don't worry. I mean, if you want this person back, I feel like they're in that energy of trying to fix this, Pisces. But I don't know. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. What else? Current energies, please, Pisces person. King of Cups, Scorpionic energy or Cancer Pisces. So that could be you. You could be dealing with another water sign. Um, very powerful. It's the king, right? Um, so male or female, no gender in tarot, you guys. All right. Um, your person could have been a little secretive with their emotions. Maybe they were wearing a false self mask or wasn't kind of like open about how they felt about you. They could have been maybe like keeping secrets or hiding something or just not like wearing their emotions on their sleeve and, and Pisces. You're kind of more of a out in the open with the, the emotions, right? So maybe that could have been it, but let's keep going. More Scorpionic energy, karma, judgment, reconciliation, an aha moment, epiphany, a wake up call. Yeah, they're, they're definitely thinking about you, nostalgic, memories, looking back on old pictures, photos, thinking of the old good times. 
Um, there could be children involved here, or your person could have been acting a little bit immature, um, or you guys could have had a friendship or have known each other since childhood here. Um, I feel like your person's trying to gain some confidence and courage to come back to you. Now let's see what was blocking this connection, Pisces. What was blocking this connection? The lovers, Gemini energy, a choice in love. Or someone wasn't understanding that soulmate connection. So sometimes when soulmates cross paths, one of them like gets it, feels it, understands it immediately. And sometimes the other one doesn't right away. There has to be like an awakening or an epiphany or, you know, a wake up call or something. But let's keep going. So the lovers, three of wands. This person keep you waiting, couldn't make up their mind, Pisces. Something to do with uh, waiting for this to happen or waiting for them to make some kind of a choice. Again, like I said, they could have been in another connection for some of you and they were kind of like stuck in between. Um, or they just had commitment issues or something along those lines. But let's keep going. Pisces, blockages, what's going on, blockages, Pisces person, Pisces person, blockages, blockages, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, could have been a fire sign that got in between the two of you, or the King and Queen of Wands are very, like, they're the single group here all right so they're fun flirty outgoing spontaneous adventurous um exciting attractive passionate sexual that kind of a thing um there could have been like temptation or something like that um or if you're dealing with a fire sign they could have gotten in the way of their own relationship you know um fear of commitment and whatnot all right but place that where you see fit what else for blockages for Pisces? Blockages. Ah, oh, Aries energy again, the fool. I feel like this person was too afraid to take some kind of a leap of faith with you. There was some fear factor going on here. The unknown, yeah. Your person was stressed out about the unknown. They were afraid that it wouldn't be like smooth sailing, calmer waters. They were really having like high anxiety, sleepless nights, overthinking, overstressing, because things were unknown. We have the moon here. That's your energy and Cancerian energy. Your person was afraid. I kept sensing fear too coming from their end. Confusion or fear or something like that. And this could be like maybe in a past relationship they got their heart broken or something to do with childhood. Um, could even be like shadow work, stuff like that, karma that they had to fulfill. All right. Um, but I feel like, yeah, there was a fear factor going on with your person when it came to love. And you probably got confused or was like, you know what, forget it, peace out, bye. You know, I'm not waiting around anymore. I'm not playing these games, you, you know. I feel like you stood your ground with this person. Let's see, how do they truly feel about you? How do they truly feel about you, Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is no lie. They see you as very independent takes care of themselves, takes care of their own, holds their own, pays the bills, works hard, looks good, smells good, feels good, <laughs> right? They see you as very independent and King of Swords, Aquarius energy. They could see you as very um, forward with your words, very blunt, very honest and truthful. Pisces, you guys are are very much like that. Um, when it push comes to shove, I mean, you'll You'll say it how it is, you know, you're not sugarcoating anything um, for the most part, you know, and I feel like this person sees that. Um, very logical with your thinking, even though you are emotions, you are water, you are very intuitive, 
Um, so I feel like you're kind of like, they see the, the good and the, the dominant in you, I guess. Not really bad, just, you know, where you, you have the, the kakunas to stick up for yourself, you know? Um, there could have been at some point harsh words. You could have called them out on their BS, you know, like truth be told, like I'm seeing right through you and you guys are very good at that. Seeing right through it, you know, uh, let's see what else, how else do they feel about you? Wow, so Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and King of Pentacles. So Taurus, predominant Virgo Capricorn. They see you very stable, loyal, long-term, grounded, abundant. Something with divine timing, or they see you as like very much like going with the flow. If it happens, it happens. If it's meant for me, it's meant for me. And that's the energy I was getting from you guys was just kind of like, law of attraction and at peace with things and just really focusing on what makes you happy. And I feel like this person sees that reflection, okay? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles, so King and Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, you could have been married to this person or they were married or they see you as marriage material, okay? Long-term, um, long-term goals here. All right, what else, how else do they feel about you, Pisces? For some of you, Pisces, you could have been married, just saying. Wow, the sun, Leo, energy. This person, you make them happy. You make them happy. It's the happiest card in the deck. You light up their life. <laughs> they want to talk. Yeah, they want to talk. They, they may want to confess some kind of truth here, but they, they want to communicate with you. You may have step back and said, until I get the truth, until I have honesty from you, because your intuition radar was going off like crazy. I feel like you called him out on something. All right. So expect communication if you haven't yet, or if it's been like light communication or bold, blunt, harsh communication, I feel like expect them to come forward and express some kind of truth or confess something to you. This could even be just a confession of how happy you make them. All right. For some of you, it may not be a, a bad thing. Take this reading how you see fit, but there is a potential that there was, you know, some kind of third party or not for everyone. For some of you, they were just very confused or stuck between worlds or have some kind of fear look stuck in making some kind of decision very much stuck in making some kind of decision when it came to this connection all right let's see potential outcome keep in mind pisces you have free will they have free will so you could change your mind and so could they it's just the potential outcome of what it could be use your own discernment okay all right, what do we got? Potential outcome for Pisces and their person. Potential outcome. Ten of Pentacles. Family, long-term, building a life together, marriage, children, that family dynamic here, going all the way until the end. All right, building that beautiful life. What else? Potential outcome. So for some of you, you could have children with this person, a marriage, kids, you know, that kind of a thing, a dog. Yeah. All right. Well, I feel like they're watching you uh, online, social media, maybe doing some circling around your house, you know. Um, there could be an age difference between the two of you, too. There's something about this person. They're still stressing out. I feel like they really want to plant seeds with you. They want to care and nurture and grow it into abundance with you, but you could have given them, given them an ultimatum, like until this or until you change your ways or until you come to me correct or whatever it is. I feel like that's got them stressing. All right, what else? Potential outcome here. Woo -hoo -hoo communicate yeah okay so if there was no communication again expect 
communication here. Expect communication. Uh, we have the Emperor here. More Aries energy. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Two of Swords, Ace of Wands. I feel like this person... They're, they, you got them so stressed out. I mean, they could have done it to themselves, so don't read too much into that comment, but you got them stressing. They're stressing over you, okay? I feel like they're trying to make a head over heart decision, or this could be you trying to make a head over heart decision when it comes to them. I feel like they are going to try and communicate with you. Um, they are going to come towards you probably really slowly or maybe like a dog with their tail between their legs, a little bit scared. Uh, or intimidated here because they know you know that you know you know they know <laughs> they know you know you know like your intuition is is going off all right um, this is very slow movement but it's also very stable so I feel like once this energy kind of calms or clears expect some communication this person's definitely going to come towards you they want to smooth things out into calmer waters now we have three aces, or actually all four. We have all four aces here. They want a new beginning. I feel like they're going to boss up, all right? Um, when, if, if, if this comes back together, I feel like they are actually going to boss up um, and be committed and take this seriously, all right? There's a lot of attraction here. Passion, attraction, chemistry, but... You got all four aces, Pisces. This is like a new beginning like no other. You're going to have the love. You're going to have the truth, the honesty, the clarity, the abundance, the structure, the safety, the commitment, uh, stability here. And there's attraction, chemistry, passion. There could even be history between the two of you. You could go way back to childhood for some of you or start it off as friends. You have a new beginning here, and it looks pretty, pretty strong. So, I mean, it's up to you what you want to do, you know? All right, biggest obstacle you're going to have to overcome. Biggest obstacles Pisces is going to have to overcome. We will get into that right after this quick message. Hi, everyone. Happy New Year. We made it to 2022, and I'm so excited. Um, so much fun stuff happening on my channel um, that I will get into later on, but we are not done with your reading yet, so please, please continue to stick around. Um, just a quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway, um, so please help me reach that goal of mine uh, by subscribing to my channel, sharing with your family and friends, and having them subscribe as well. If you are already subscribed, you are already entered. So thank you so much for your continued love and support for my channel. It means the world to me, you guys. Um, but I'm going to be giving away a bunch of stuff like free iPad Air, free tarot card readings, free distance Reiki healing sessions, hypnosis sessions, tarot card decks, oracle card decks, and crystals as well. Um, and a lot of new, fun, exciting other stuff that I'm going to be posting um, on, my, on my community board. So look out for that. And um, let's get back into your reading and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, Pisces, real quick, when I was shuffling and the cards went everywhere before, when I was doing the outcome, the sun fell on the floor. Happiness, again, Leo energy. This is the second time the sun came out. I feel like this will make you very happy. Here's the obstacles, though, that you have to overcome. Letting go, all right? So if there was a third party, if there were too many people involved or friends got involved, family got involved, um, it kind of turned maybe for some of you just kind of mundane or boring or whatever. I feel like letting go of that kind of a mindset and feeling alone. So you may have felt very alone in this connection. I feel like this person, again, didn't show their emotions or wear their heart on their sleeve. Um, and you may have felt very dark or alone in this connection, especially if there was a third party, all right? So when this or if this comes back together, I feel like there's going to be some kind of like, it's going to happen when you least expect it. It's going to be kind of like a thunderbolt, like a shock, all right? Um, yes, that kind of represents the tower, but towers aren't always bad, all right? It just represents some shocking news, a sudden change, 
Um, could be things crumbling down to rebuild on a stronger foundation, right? So it's not always bad. All right, Pisces, what else do we have? Travel, ooh, you guys could live at a distance or there might be travel, uh, movement, meeting, adventure, be ready for new experiences. Ooh, Pisces. All right, what else? Pisces, Pisces, what else do we got for Pisces? Pisces, messages for Pisces, please. Thank you. Masculine, your divine masculine, your twin or soulmate seeking you. Yeah, definitely soulmate connection here. All right, what else? Separation, yeah, no contact, 5D, dreams, nightmares, focus on your own happiness. You guys could be um, communicating in your dream states in the 5D, all right? Um, and balance, yin and yang, darkness and light. Stay centered in your higher self. So that's your intuition. That's your higher self. Look at this, talking to you, right? But keep that balance. And I feel like you guys are like a yin and yang to each other. Um, deception, mask, illusion, duplicity. And fresh start, new opportunity. This is your second chance. You may have to release something here. All right. Fresh start. All right, let's see. What else for Pisces? Pisces, Pisces. What else? Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. I feel like that's what you're focusing on right now is just you. It is what it is. You can't change it. Can't do anything about it. You're just like coming to terms or at peace with something. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. Yeah, you could have been triggering them if they have like stuff that they haven't healed from. Uh, date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. You could be for some of you meeting someone new, but I feel like this is your person that's going to come back and they're going to, you might plan and set a date with them. Um, cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. This came out twice. I feel like either you or your person are just, I feel like it's more your person, not you. I feel like you're kind of like, you calm that part of your brain. Um, I feel like it's more your person, but could be you too. All right, what would this person like to say to you if they could, Pisces? What would they like to say to you if they could? I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. You guys could be looking at me going, no way, lady. I ain't doing it. That's, you know, your prerogative. <laughs> I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before, but I do now. There's so much unspoken between us. I need to tell you how I really feel. They want to talk to you. I miss looking into your eyes and into your soul. Yeah, that's that connection. It's there. All right. Pisces, that is what I have for you this week. Please subscribe to my channel to enter into the 10K giveaway. If you're already subscribed, you're already entered. If you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, Pisces, love and light. Take care.